Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Big John. Big John's Bully House. Okay. Um, literally minutes after the video was posted, puppies were all spoken for. So, huge shout out to Tammy Miko. She is taking big boy here. His name will be Lucky Little Gotti. He's got the little, they started off as a seven, but now it looks like a duck on the back of him. And then little baby Capone, the reverse Brindle boy, Bully Pack Robertson is still determined to make his pick on his female. But regardless which one he don't take, the other female is already spoken for by Willie Randall. So, um, I do apologize, you know, uh, I know a lot of people were wanting a puppy and it just didn't work out like that. I didn't even get a puppy. So, uh, but huge shout out to all you guys that took your pups. And I mean, as you can see, they're, they're going to be little monsters, man. Um, I talked to Bully Pack Robertson last night for a while, showing him videos, showing him updates, um, you know, the pups and everything. And we are definitely pleased, beyond pleased with what we do have in front of us. I mean, it, it was, it was nice, man. Um, unfortunately, you know, we lo we lost five, and I mean, it, it happens. Um, new mother, everything. Like I like I stated before, it was more my fault than hers. I'm, I'm not gonna blame her. I can't blame her. Um, that's just what it is, man. I'm not gonna blame my dog. So, as far as you know, people hitting me up, um, ask me if I didn't know any other kennels that have puppies for sale. Um, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, so don't take it as that. I'm not trying to be a dickhead, so please don't take it as that when I say this. When it comes to other kennels, we do not care what they do. When it comes to other kennels, we do not care what they have, what they breed. When it comes to other kennels, we don't watch them. Now, again, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not trying to be a dickhead. That's just, I don't care what the next man's doing. I don't care what the next man has. Um, it's just, it's just that simple. We focus on us. We focus on what we're doing. We focus on what we have. We strive to create fully functional, extreme American bullies. At the end of the day, I always wanted an extreme dog with overly exaggerated features, but I still wanted them to be healthy. I still wanted them to be fully functional, run, jump, swim. Um, I pull them out of the kennel. I don't have to worry about them having a heat stroke. I want to go hunting. I want my dog to go hunting with me. We have plenty of videos and plenty of proof doing that. So, you know, as far as, you know, people having, if anybody has anything like what we have. No, they don't because they don't have what we have. They don't have the dogs that we have. They don't have the blood that we have. They don't have how it started with us. Um, it just, if, you know, if somebody's asking, well, is there anybody else out there that has something like you have? No, they don't. Um, the only ones that will have anything considerably close to what we have are the people that buy puppies from us. Um, you'll have the blood. Now, are you going to breed the same way that we're going to breed? No, because everybody has a different vision. So are you going to create the same dogs that we're going to create? If you follow our vision and you follow what I tell you and you breed how I tell you, um, and it's not me trying to control what you're doing, you, you'll create extreme American bullies. But again, not everybody is going to breed how we breed. That's why I know for a fact nobody has what we have. I mean, you might have a dog that's the same color. You might have a dog that's white. And, hey, my dog looks like yours. Yep, same color. They look, they're both white. Or, hey, I got a dog that looks like Capone. Yep, they're both blue and white. But as overall body, head, structure, etc. No, it's not the same look. It's not the same dog. It's, it's just not. At the end of the day, we don't breed pedigree. You know, um, pedigree is important. 
a little bit. Um, for me, it's never been, oh my God, look at that paperwork. I think that paperwork's gonna line up really good with that other paperwork sitting over there. Um, and I think I'm gonna be able to create amazing dogs on paperwork. Well, I breed dog to dog. Oh, you better quit. Um, that's how I've always done it. I breed dog to dog. Paperwork can look cool. Paperwork could look fire, as a lot of people like to say. Dog look like shit. Just straight shit. And not understand. Well, I don't understand it. Um, I got this dog and this dog and this dog in there, yeah? But what did the overall dog look like that you bred? I mean, at the end of the day, we can all use them car salesman pitches and be like, oh, look at the pedigree. The pedigree is so crazy and da 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 And you're going to get exactly what you're wanting. Man, that's a fucking second. That's a car salesman pitch. I'm going to be the first one to tell you. Because that pedigree is fire, don't mean that dog or them puppies are going to be fire. It just, it's not. Hey, look, Capone. Knock it off. That does not mean that. I've seen, man, I've seen so much shit. It's unreal. Um, I stopped chasing paper, paper pedigree chasing a long time ago. Um, and it was simply because I was doing the same thing everybody else was doing. Starting out, fire ass ped. Gonna equal fire ass dogs. No. No. Fire ass ped and not having fire ass dogs equal boo boo straight shit so at the end of the day look at the two dogs in front of you the pedigree is a bonus always look at it as that a pedigree is a bonus but i've been successful doing it the way i'm doing it and that's why i keep saying it you know I advertise extreme pocket American bullies. So anytime you come to my channel and you watch a video, that's what you will see. I don't advertise, you know, big name kennels or big name stud or big name show winners or I don't do that, man. Um, to me, that's just, I ain't got to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I, I don't have to do that. I show my dogs, show my puppies, show my breedings, show my studs, and show my bitches. I get a lot of hate for being real, and I get a lot of love for being real. But I'll take that love over that hate any day of the week. Because I know the ones that listen to what I'm telling them and respect how I say it and respect what I say. At the end of the day, you're a real motherfucker yourself. Ain't no reason to sugarcoat, man. This ain't Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. But again, huge shout out to the, got the, to the men and women who got their puppies. Tammy Miko wasn't playing around. She said, I want both of them. So she got both of them. Again, huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old. Like, shares, comments, followers, all the love that we get and continue to get. As always, take care. God bless. Stay safe. We love y'all, man. Keep rocking with us. You better quit.